the next section of tefillah after the korbanos are the segments of Ezehu Mekoman, the Perik of Mishnayis, and the paragraph of Rabbi Ishmael Omer, the Brisa. And the Gemara in Kiddushin teaches us that every person, every day, should learn Mikra, Mishnah, and Gemara. Should learn some section of Chumash, some section of Mishnah, and some section of Gemara. And the Shulchan Aruch in Simen Nun, Simen 50, writes that that's why it was instituted to recite Ezehu Mekoman and Rabbi Ishmael after the Korbanos, because the Korbanos count as the Mikra, Ezehu Mekoman counts as the Mishnah, and Rabbi Ishmael Omer is a Brisa, which counts towards the Gemara. The Mishnah Bura explains why, though, these specific passages were selected, and that the Brisa of Rabbi Ishmael Omer, which originally appears in the Midrash Torah's Kohanim, deals with Korbanos, the, the Medjah Torah's Kohanim deals with Korbanos. And thus, the paragraph of the Brisa of Rabbi Yishmael Omer has its innate connection to Korbanos and is included as the final section, so to speak, of the Korbanos. The paragraph of Ezeu Mekoman was chosen for one of two reasons, the Mishnah Brewer explains. And that is, number one, that it also deals with Halachus of Korbanos. And number two, that the parak of Ezeu Mekoman is pure halach lemosh misinai. It has no machlokas between any different tanaim. There are no machlokas mentioned in that paragraph. And what better way to start our day than from the pure, unadulterated lack of machlokas of the parak of Mishnayis? The Mishnah Bura does point out that if we really want it to count as our learning, it's important that we at least make an effort to try to understand it and suggest that it's appropriate to learn it outside of tefillah so that we're familiar at least with its meaning when reciting it. However, the point that I'd like to draw from here for us is that as we begin our day after we've mentioned the korbanos, the innate connection between us and HaKadosh Baruch Hu is that we remind ourselves of the different segments of Torah, of how Torah is a complete package and how we each have a necessity to draw ourselves close to that Torah and to associate ourselves with all segments of the Torah to the best of our ability. And beyond that, that we remind ourselves that we begin with no machlokas, that everything we do is unadulterated, halach l'moshu Sinai is meant in the most pure way of growing towards HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And yes, of course, oftentimes that includes machlokas, machlokas l'shem shemaim for the sake of coming to the truth of Torah, but that we surround ourselves throughout the day, starting from the very first moments of tefillah with all segments of Torah. And we do our best to maintain that attitude and the attitude moving forward of no machlokas throughout our day, starting from the very beginning of tefillah. Have a great day.